Hey, what's going on everyone? We're back here on Pokemon Showdown today using this Banded Weavile team that I had a quite a bit of success with off screen. So we're going to be trying it out right now, but basically it's just Banded Weavile, standard coverage right here with Ice Shard, Knockoff, uh, Icicle Crash, and Pursuit. And then we just have ICMZ, Karam Black, which is it kind of forms an Ice Spam core right here. Obviously both of these Ice types do not appreciate hazards, but we have ways to deal with that between uh, the Magic Bounce on Deontay as well as Scarf, Defog, Coco. But other than that, this is pretty much just a standard Volt Turn core. Scarf, Lando, Specs, Coco, and then Spidef, Jirachi, just to help out against Tapu Lele and Magirna. So the team will be down below in the description in case you guys want to try it out. And I'll be right back with our first match. Alright, we got our first battle right here. This guy's only ice resist is the Tox Bex. So after that thing goes down, Weavile and Karen Black can do a ton of work right now. Our checks to that are obviously Coco and Lando. Deontay can hit it with Earth Power, but I think he's going to lead off with the Cortana if it's Scarf or Tornadus just to U-turn out. So I'm going to lead off here with my uh, Lander ST. We do catch the Tornadus lead. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, much to do against this. I'm just going to U-turn out. He finds out that I'm Scarf, which is totally fine. He probably went for... Uh, either a hurricane or a knockoff, yeah. So uh, he's gonna take the life orb recoil actually, so that's interesting. And uh, right here, his switch in should be Toxapex. He doesn't have any other good Moonblast answers, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a play on just Earth Power. So let's see if we see a U turn. Yeah, so he U turns out. I'm assuming we'll see Toxapex come out. I'm really hoping it goes out into that so that way my Ice Tripes can pressure the rest of his team. So we do catch the uh, Toxapex on the switch in right now. Hit that thing with an Earth Power. Unfortunately, no Spit F drop, but I'm definitely just gonna stand right here and click it again. Weaken this guy, just into range of everything. He just he's just gonna spam recover. So unfortunately, we can't really stand right now. I'm gonna go out into Jirachi just to get up those rocks right now. Just clicks recover again. So spit after drop there would have been super clutch, but we just click get up rocks right now. Just goes for a T spike. That can be a little bit annoying. And I'll just U turn out. And uh, he's either gonna get up a second T spike or scald. I really didn't want to go with Landorus right here, but he could Scald Burn me. And honestly, Landorus is looking like a decent win condition after the Hippadon's weekend, so... I'm not going to make that play, I'm actually going to go back to Deontay here, I think. Mm, this is kind of tricky. I can also go Coco, but it just baits in that Hippadon. He, if he's going for Scald, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the Lando play. And see what exactly he wants to do. Goes for Scald, really hoping he doesn't burn me right here. He unfortunately does, and that means we're not going to be able to 1v1 him. And so right here, I'm just gonna... I could just throw off a defog. I really want to keep my rocks up though, but they're not as important as I need them to be. So I actually made a switch out, which I found super interesting because I could have U-turned. But I'm just gonna let him knock me out right here. Uh, just knock me out with Hurricane or whatever. Goes for U-turn again. So he's gonna try to get in Tapu Lele, I think. Or Hippowdon to get up his own hazards. That's definitely something I can see. Goes out into Kurtana. This is fine because... Uh, if he's SD, we don't actually care. So I'm just going to go out here into to Jirachi. Jirachi can take this on. He just goes for a Leaf Blade. So this is probably Scarf. Unfortunately, it gets a crit, which is not that good for me, but uh, it's fine. I can Healing Wish my Lando back up right now, to be honest. That's looking like a decent play. I'm going to do that. He goes out into this. I'm still going to go Lando just because it's uh, my best play. I, I could have actually gotten up rocks and then healing wished out but it's fine let we'll you turn out right now and uh keeping lando back in the game is pretty big so we're gonna you turn out and i'm gonna start putting some pressure on his team with my kiharam black now we need to start getting some kills just goes for earthquake which is totally fine and gonna make once again a prediction right here and just go for go for earth power on the incoming tox specs so that thing takes a good amount and i'm just gonna hit it up with the max attack fusion bolt right now he does not have switch-ins. Hopefully it goes down. Ah, uh, barely doesn't misses out on the KO. Just don't burn me and we'll be fine. Okay, cool. And he actually goes out to sand. So now Weavile's going to have a ton of fun. Unfortunately, that Scarf Cortana is still a problem. And I'm assuming it's Mega Zam. Uh, speaking of Cortana, he just goes back out into it. Going to go into my Lander's T right here. Just because it's really my only answer to the Smart Strike spam. Sp Scarf Smart Strike's looking kind of like a problem. So he's going to go for Leaf Blade, actually. I could have stayed in and it just knocked you out. Is that banded? That might be banded. I mean, we're offensive, Lando, but I'm not going to calc it. I'm just going to go right here for U-turn on uh, Torn, And on for I'm just going to go out into Weavile now and have it do some work. Weavile can come out right here. Just click Icicle Crash and hopefully not miss. We're faster, right? Yeah. So we, pick we pretty much pick up a kill right now. Uh, Mizumi Cortana might eat one, though. But he doesn't know what I am. I could be Sash Weavile. It goes back to Cart. He's going to go for either Leaf Blade or Smart Strike. i got to go back to Landorus to prevent the Beast Boost. Actually, that might have been a misplay because 
I was gonna leaf blade. Okay, so never mind. This goes for that, and we're gonna earthquake right here. So we scarf, which is good information, and uh, we bring on Kieran Black right here now. Unfortunately, if he has smart strike, that might just be the game. But my play right here is hope he stays in. So I think we throw off the ice beam, right? Now we're gonna throw off a sub zero slammer. He'll probably go tap a lele, but sub zero slammer gets me a kill no matter what right now. So really hoping he doesn't have smart strike on that thing. We do a ton of damage. That animation took a while. If he has Smart Strike, he'll go out into it now. Tapu Koka might eat one Smart Strike, at, uh, even at the plus one. Probably not, but we could after... So he goes Cart, and uh, we're obviously going to Ice Beam right here. He's going to go for Smart Strike, I think, and just pick me off. Unless he has Sacred Sword. He does have Smart Strike, so my only hope right here is that uh, Tapu Koko can eat this. Which, uh, I, I think it might. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go for Specs T-Bolt. He actually decided to switch out, so that's actually a decent play because... If he's Scarf... Would this be Scarf 2? I don't think so. I'm going to T-Bolt. And then we're going to make a play after. When he goes Zam. But T-Bolt's my best play. We knock that thing out. And I have to keep this healthy. So he's going to go out at Alakazam, obviously. I might have to play off a of Focus Blast Mist, to be honest. So Deontay's my expendable member right here. If he doubles out into Cartana, then GG. But I think he's just Psychic. So he traced Magic Bounce. We actually live that. Hmm. And I uh, just Moonblast right here. If he has Dazzling Gleam, then that'll, that'll definitely knock out my Weavile and it'll be game. But if not, we might be able to make something happen. So we go Weavile. And uh, my best play right here is to go for a knockoff. I guess it's actually Pursuit. Assuming Banded Pursuit kills, it, it will. Okay, so we got that, well, which is good. And now all we need is our... What's it called? Our Tapu Koko to live one. So we actually decided to go for Leaf Blade, and actually just knocked me out. So uh, that's going to be the game right here, because he's weird specs, and we're knocking out speed. It's going to go for Scarf Leaf Blade, and that's going to be a GG. So super close battle right there. Probably should have preserved my Lando. I don't know why I switched it in on Cartana the first time. Could have kept it healthy, and then brought it out to get the Intimidate off. But it's fine. It was a close battle, and I'll be right back with another one. All right, we got our second battle right here. This guy does not have a Dark Resist, and I'm assuming the Mega is uh, Pinsir. So Scissor doesn't want to take these hits either. I'm going to lead off with Weavile and see. If we can catch something like Tangrowth, yeah. And I'm just going to throw off a knockoff right here. Because if he goes Scissor or uh, Rotom, we knock it off. And that does so much. And uh, we can actually just throw off a knockoff again. And just knock that thing out. So we've all picking up a killer right away, which is super cool. And let's see what he wants to respond to this with. Probably either Tran or Scissor. Go Scissor. So uh, we're going to go Lando right here. And start clicking EQ. If he starts SDing up, that's fine. Goes for U-turn. That actually does quite a bit because of the... Uh, the fact that we're offensive. And actually goes out into Zygarde. We're Scarf HP Ice, but we're minus special attack. I just need this in range of Ice Shard, but he could have extreme speed too. I'm just gonna start spamming HP Ice, because that actually 2 it kills. And he's uh, probably not faster than me. Because, unless he's, uh, yeah, he's uh, Dragonium set. So, that's gonna knock me out, but... That means he has Outrage, right? W will anything outspeed this, or at least live? Weavile should take an extreme speed from this range, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw off. He's going to go for extreme speed, right? I'm just going to throw off the knock, because uh, I don't want to ice shard on the scissors, so that does a ton. We knock off the choice band, which is super nice. And uh, he's just going to... He could have roost, I guess. Goes for BP, and now we just rocks up. Goes for knock, that's fine. And now I'll just U-turn out. This goes for bullet punch, why? All right, now we're going to cure on black. Takes a hit from anything and pretty much just gets a kill. Actually, we saw that he was fast Zagard. It could be a speed tie then. Wait, I'll stay in. <laughs> Actually goes Tangrowth. If you're going to bait out the ice type move to double into Tran. Nope, this is definitely dropping. Yeah, get out of there. And I think we should be good to go. We've all did a ton of work this game, which I'm happy about. This could outspeed me and go for Ice Shard, but we'll uh, Ice Beam right here. We outsped. And then we just Earth Power that and Ice Beam the Pinsir. Well, actually, I guess I would Fusion Bolt the Pinsir. But that looks good to me, because we can... Yeah, he's going to go Pinsir first. And if he Mega... Well, either way, a Fusion Bolt's my best play. He goes for a return, and there's no way we get... We actually could get swept by Scarf Tran, now that I look at it. Scarf Tran could be a little bit of an issue, but Coco will live the hit. Is he Scarf Flash Cannon? He's not. Uh, he actually lived that. Wow. He's just going to go for that, and now I just go out into... Let's give Deontay the kill. I'm just going to go out into this and click uh, Earth Power. 
and uh, that's going to seal up the game right there. So, GG. Uh, I'm glad we picked up a win for our second one, and I'll be right back with another match. All right, we got another match right here. Komo's looking like kind of a threat. Thankfully, Scarf Lando cannot speed it. I'm actually just going to lead Lando right now, because he actually just has to lead off a drill. He could throw off a Toxic, but I'm actually going to U-turn out, because I'm not expecting a turn one Iron Head. I'm either expecting Rocks or a Toxic right here. I don't want Kiram taking the Toxic. I can go Deontay. Uh, if, if, if randomly he attacks, that's not going to be a good decision. We're going to make the Kiram play, hoping we see Rocks instead of the Toxic right now. Goes for Toxic, that's unfortunate, but uh, we pretty much get a kill with our ICMZ right now, and he might not know it, so he's going to go Magnezone. Uh, we'll find out if this is Scarf. It's a Balloon, so we'll know we got speed next turn, which is cool. This might bring him down. Yeah, that brings him down really low. You pop that Balloon, and he might go... Uh, he just taxed it, okay. I was thinking he might go Bulu, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense, because we just followed up with an ice beam after. He might go back to Drill now. He actually goes Pinsir. Well, this might not knock me out with Return. I'm going to stay in, because uh, if he goes to actually that's close combat, so that's good information at least. And uh, what I can actually do right now is just go Weavile, and I'm going to try to Pursuit him right here to knock this thing out, because this is a giant threat. We're going to click the Pursuit, and if he stays in, then good play. But I think you switch out here every time. Yeah, he switched out. He actually lived that, which I'm surprised about. Goes uh, right out into Drill right here. And uh, no way I'm staying in. We're going hard Lando on either Rocks, Iron Head, or EQ. Goes for Rocks, okay. And I could spam Defog, but he has more uh, power points on the Rocks, so that's not going to make a lot of sense. I can also just U-turn out predicting Bulu, but if he goes hard Bulu, what do I do? I guess I go Jirachi, because Jirachi doesn't do a ton against everything else. He just stays in, so I'm glad we uh, clicked Earthquake and not U-turn. And now he pretty much has to go out here into either Pinsir or Bulu. So he just has to make the Bulu play. How much do I value Lando? It's actually a decent check to Pinsir with HPS. Yeah, we're going to make the Jirachi play. And see what we can do. He actually goes for SD. Uh, since we're Spit F, we probably don't have speed. Hopefully we don't see a Z move right here. I'm just going to attempt to get up rocks. He just goes for Super Power. That does a ton. But we actually saw that we outsped and now he has a defense drop. So this Iron Head is super free. Yeah, he's going to switch out uh, expecting that, so I could have U-turned, but we get a bit of damage off right now, and honestly, I'm not very afraid of uh, if he gets his Ash Grand for him, because we still have our Lando, Scarf Lando in the back. Water Shuriken could look kind of scary, actually. Do I want to switch out here? I don't really have a switch in. Yeah, on the off chance, he just wants to go for, yeah, he just goes for Dark Pulse, that makes sense. And it actually brings in my Coco right here and allows it to click uh, an attack. Which is cool, and that attack's going to be Volt Switch, obviously. Just because it'll knock this out if he decides to... I'm assuming he's uh, it's, uh, locked into that, obviously. But let's see what he wants to bring out next. Probably either Grand to Surf slash Hydro Pump or Bulu, yeah. So I can't, unfortunately, go Lando on this. And I actually don't want this thing taking too much damage. Because I need something out of range of Water Shuriken. So we Volt right here. And I think... Weavile's the sec. Weavile won't outspeed anything. It doesn't really touch. I mean, it could be good against Como later. I think I'm going to go Deontay. As much as, it, as nice as Deontay is, it doesn't do a ton for me. Hopefully we see a Wood Hammer or not a Horn Leech. Goes right for the Z moves. All that pummeling. Continental Crush. Uh, hopefully this knocks me out. Uh, it actually, uh, it's actually not that bad because he gets no health from Horn Leech right here if he clicks it. My play is obviously to Mega Evolve and Moonblast. Hopefully it knocks him out. That would be cool. It does knock him out. Queet. Sweet. Queet. <laughs> and let's see what he wants to bring out now. I think he has to go Grand. Yeah. And... He's going to have to click Water Shuriken, I think, but he actually clicks Dark Pulse. Okay. So it's going to come down to whether Shuriken can knock out my Weavile or not, which I don't think it can. Do we even knock him out, though? That's a, that's an interesting thought. We're going to Earthquake. He's actually uh, because of the grassy terrain, right? So I should have U-turned right there. Goes for Dark Pulse, but he's in range of Ice Shard now, so I'll just go out into this and click uh, the Dazzling Gleam, and we should be good to go. I definitely just choked that by not clicking that, uh, as long as we don't get flinched right here. Which we don't. Alright, now he's going to go out into Coco. I mean, Como. I guess if it's Scarf, maybe. But he's going to forfeit right there. So I definitely misplayed by not going for U-turn. Completely forgot about the terrain. But thankfully, we still managed to pick up the win, which is cool. And I'll be right back with another match. Up DCing, which I understand those Iron Head flinches were kind of ridiculous. But there was no way I was switching out and letting anything else take a Shadow Claw. So this guy is pretty weak to Weavile. He might lead off with Drill like all the other guys. I'm going to lead off with Weavile. He does lead off with Drill right here. Am I willing to sack Weavile to do this? Uh, no way. I'm going to go Lando. He might throw off a Toxic. He might Iron Head. I'm just hoping he goes for an attack or over rocks, because that'll get let me be a turn ahead. And actually, I might even U-turn just to get in my Kyurem safely, because nobody Iron Heads on Lando. 
At least I don't think you do. If you throw up a Toxic, if anything, the problem is, if I get in Kieran Black right now, he's gonna get up. Uh, it's gonna have to take Rocks damage. So we get in this. Uh, probably should have just let it land though. That would have been my best play. Uh, I'm just gonna U turn. Because what, what doesn't do a lot? Jirachi, what are you useful for? You're supposed to Bulu decently well. You can also take hits from Cortana, assuming it's not knock. Deontay, Deontay actually does a ton of work. Tapu Koko, do, Tapu Koko doesn't do as much as I want because of Bulu and Lando. So we're going to go Tapu Koko right here. And hopefully this goes for Iron Head over EQ. It actually did not a lot. And I'll just uh, go for a Specs Dazzling Gleam, I think. Get, some bit, get a bit of damage off and he's just going to Earthquake for the knockout. So that's fine. Does Pursuit knock him out from 50 if he decides to stay in? Excadrill? I doubt it. I, I, even It's Banded Weavile, but it's not that strong, right? Banded Pursuit, yeah, it's not strong enough. I mean, he might try to switch out, but I think Deontay's my much better play. So we're going to do that. And just throw off an Earth Power. We can actually throw off a Hidden Power Fire, too. Just to maybe catch the incoming Lando. I'll go ahead and calc that, too. All out attacker. Hidden Power Fire does knock him out from this range. So we'll Mega Evolve and HP Fire right here. So it gives me the Excadrill, which is cool. Uh, that crit did not matter. And let's see what he wants to bring in next. He actually doesn't have good responses to this. He saw that my Hidden Power is super effective, so he knows it's Fire. Uh, I would never click it if it, was, if it was Ice, but... He might threaten me out with Scarf Katana, but he actually decides to go Grand, so... This is kind of a problematic Mon, I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna go for the Water-type move for sure. I can go hard Kiram, it'll probably get 2 hit KO'd. I can bake on his choke and just go for the Moonblast. That's probably not a good play. My way to threaten this is with the Lando. I want to go with Bulu, I think, because... I mean, sorry, I want to go Jirachi, I think. I was thinking about how Jirachi does well against Bulu. Hopefully he goes for the Water-type move. Uh, we actually don't take 2. If we get a decent roll here, we should live it. And I'm going to attempt to get up our rocks. Hopefully we get the decent roll right now and we just knock him out. I mean, we get up our rocks. He actually goes hard Lando, so... We get up rocks right there, which is cool. And he might try to defog, but I'll just... You t he's going to be slower than me, right? I'm just going to Iron Head. Once again, I'm not going for flinches. I'm just... Uh, he's actually going to be... Let's see if we see lefties. So we're doing absolutely nothing with this. I'm just going to go for Iron Head again. And actually, I think I'm going to switch out into my own Lando now. Just because I think your best play is either defog or EQ. Based on the fact that I'm staying in. So we can get in our Lando right here. Hopefully it goes for one of the two. Rock Polish. Uh, we definitely live a Flynium from your Sincere Minus One, so I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Ice right here. Put you in range of Ice Shard. That does a ton. So now he's going to go for Flynium. I'm, I'm going to preserve this and switch out into... Once again, Jirachi is my expendable mod, so we're going to go out into that. And uh, he actually went for Stone Edge. We probably would have lived. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back out into Lando. Just because what are you... If your best thing to hit me with is Stone Edge, then... Okay, try to go for Earthquake, and I'm just going for Hidden Power again. And you're at neutral attack now, so even we probably live a Rocky and Z. I mean, we're offensive Lando, so we probably don't even live like anything right now. Goes out into Grand, so EQ would have been a cool play right there, but that's fine. I don't know why you would risk your win con there, though. This is kind of a problem now. Okay, so back to Jirachi. He's going to knock me out with, I think, Hydro. Yeah, Mister would have been cool. Now we go out into Kiram, and we're pretty much just going to try to... Kiram only has one more switch in until it dies to Gren, so... Well, Gren's Hydro Pump at least. What's the switch in? I think I just click ICM no matter what. Can you just stay in? Let me give this mon so that my Deontay just wins. <laughs> that would be great. Alright, so he gives me Cortana, which is interesting because... Well, actually, I guess you would just go out into Zard Y after this. Or Zard X, either way. But, unfortunately, I think my way of beating Gren now is through Weavile living a hit and somehow knocking it off plus Ice Shard, I think. Yeah, that's, I think, you should take a Shuriken with Weavile. So he actually goes out into Bulu. Hmm. Is this Scarf? Probably is. Scarf Superpower, yep. We lived it, though. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to knock him out. I would actually just straight up knock him out, okay. And let's see what he wants to bring in. Zard's going to take half. We actually might be alright. It's going to come down to how much Grand does to us. Which uh, he should go out into now, yeah. And my best play is Fusion Bolt, obviously. He's going to go for Hydro, actually. Actually, Hydro just wins, isn't it? We have Scarf on this, so I'll just go out into this. Click U-turn, and 
If it doesn't knock him out, then GG. It does knock him out, though. And why did you give me that? Because I go Weavile now and click Icicle Crash twice. Unless we already saw your Lando set. It was a Rock Polish. And Zardex or Y doesn't take an Icicle Crash. I don't know what you just did. He just sacked his Wincon. And he's not even... He's uh, even HP, his Zard, which is funny. I'm going to Icicle Crash as long as we hit it. Yeah, we do hit that. And that means I can just switch out against Lando. No point in risking anything. And just go for the Ice Shard. So we're going to go hard into our own Lando right here. And then we're going to bring back this and Ice Shard for the kill. So Ice Shard should pick him off right now. And uh, hopefully it does, because uh, Bandit Weavile is going to do a ton of work this match. He definitely doesn't live this right now. He's at minus one. He might not even knock out Deontay. He gives me that Mon. And that is going to be that game. So GG, we Bandit Weavile definitely came through late game. I don't know why he sacked Gran, but hey, I'll take it. And I'll be right back with another battle. All right, we got another battle right here. This guy has a Victini. It's probably a Z Celebrate, and this could be like sub DD Zygarde, or it could be Band Victini and like DD Dragonian Zygarde. Maybe a Scarf or Defensive Lando, but I think it would be Scarf Lando on this type of team. Karim leads well, and uh, he actually lead against Finny. This is not ideal because we don't Oko with Fusion Bolt. Not sure if he'll switch out scouting for random Gigabolt Havoc, but I think he would Nature's Madness right here, to ca trying to catch my Jirachi. So I'm actually just gonna Fusion Bolt because we take the Moonblast. Yeah, we take that. Sucks having to take all the damage, because this one could have done a lot more, but... I'll just, uh, ICMZ on the off chance he wants to switch out. This will knock him out. Alright, so we get rid of Finny, which is cool for my Weavile in the back. Weavile pretty much just clicks knock off every time it comes out now and does some work. Goes right out into Victini right here. I'm just gonna Earth Power, so it does appear to be... V-Create. Alright, so he just gave me Victini with the Weavile right now. Because I just go out into this and click Pursuit. Not sure if he'll try to switch out. If he's expecting Pursuit, yeah, he's gonna uh, give me Victini right there. Thing goes down, and not sure if he expects me to be Banded. I mean, I would either be Banded or Life Orb, right? Goes out into Zapdos, so I guess he's not expecting the Choice Band. He's gonna go for Volt, I think, but I don't want to let Z Z Lando take damage. I think Jirachi is the play. Just because, even if he Volt switches out, he actually just goes for Heat Wave. So, good play. The idea there was, even if he Volt switched out, I could just U-turn on whatever he brought out. It would be a slow U-turn, and it would be good to go, so I'll just... Try to get up rocks right now. Just goes for heat wave again. I'll just click it again because I think he might defog right here. Actually, we saw that we were faster. Okay, so he just knocks me out. That's pro that's probably best in case. I just go out into this now. Click icicle crash a few times and win. I think. Unless it's a scarf Lando, it could be scarf Lando. But uh, he gives me Zapdos and let's see if he goes immediate lad into Lando or not. I think he has to go Lando. I think I have to stay in. So there's Lando. I'm just gonna click it. Because if he's not Scarf, this thing goes down. And he still doesn't live a hit with Pinsir or Zagard anyway. He goes hard Pinsir, this man. So he's trying to sweep me with the... With the Zagard then. So he's going to try to put me in range of Quick Attack. No way I'm staying in. I mean, Extreme Speed, sorry. So he gets Hyper Cutter, which is totally cool. Goes right for Quick Attack, and I'll just... Uh, HP Ice with Scarf, and Scarf HP Ice... Should be able to clean up. Wanted to give Weavile the kills, but it is totally alright right now. I'll take this win. I think I shard sweeps. I mean, unless he gets a ton of DDs up with Zagard. But I think we 2 it KO, so he can't get like any 50% berry. Yeah, that 2 it goes and get, uh, leaves him out of range of the berry. And if he's if we he's not max speed right now, we actually will outspeed. Goes right for E speed. Sorry, goes right for Devastating Drake. He's probably going to E speed here. I know this lives it, though. I, Weavile should take a plus 1 E speed. So this Ice Shard, knock that out, and then Lando cannot win. Because the Ice Shard right here, actually I think my best place to switch out. Because even if you Rock Polish's Ice Shard has priority, so I'll just switch out here into uh, Tapu Koko. Now we'll go back out into this and just click Ice Shard for the kill. It actually lived. Alright, but thankfully, we, we evolved a champ and lived that too. I think we would have been fine either way, because... Was he Scarf? I don't know. He... I don't know whether you're a scarf or not. That might have actually been, uh, I think it would have been defensive, right? Did we see leftovers? Okay, we saw leftovers a while ago, what am I saying? And uh, that's going to be that battle. So nice win, and I'll be right back with one final match. So this is going to be our final match right now. This guy's running a super offensive team. Could be Scarf Cortana, obviously it's going to be Coco plus Electric Proceed Lucha. Might lead off with Metachamp to fake out, or maybe Specs Keldeo to catch something. Keldeo's is only uh, Weavile switching. So with all that in mind, I think my best lead right here is Lando. Because he's going to lead Lando too. Do I want my own Lando taking damage, or am I fine with just uh, HP icing right here? I, I want a U-turn. 
I mean, uh, the thing is, if it's a Roost Halucha, which we saw earlier, it's not going to be able to knock me out. And it's not going to be able to do anything with HP Ice. I think I'm just going to HP Ice right here. I don't know. This is kind of tough because we do a ton of work with Earthquake, too. I think U-Turn is my better play. Well, Scott, if he Scarf, if he Scarf right here wins the Speed 10, goes for HP Ice, then you got me. But we're definitely U-Turning right here, and we're definitely going hard here on Black. Because you don't Earthquake, you either U-Turn or you go for a Rocks. And I would need to, and I want to get in Kieran Black before the, all, any of that happens. So we got our U turn off. We saw that we were faster. Kieran Black can take anything. It can even take an earthquake if he goes for it since he's at minus one. Just throws up the rocks, which is what I expected. And we just got a kill right now with uh, Sub Zero Slammer. So I'll go ahead and click that. We really want a Fusion Bolt just Oko and Caldeo, but it's not worth the risk. Honestly, Sub Zero Slammer might just Oko too. He just gives me the lander. So would have been nice to preserve the Z move, but that was definitely my best play right there. And let's see what he wants to respond with. We live ahead from Cortana. I think he has to go Medicham. We take actually we might we might not live at a Z move to be honest. I'm just gonna Ice Beam anyway. Why would you SD? That thing goes right down. Crit obviously did not matter. Cortana has like base three spit F, and let's see what he wants to bring in next. I don't know why you would ever do that, but uh, I'm definitely gonna switch out here, not into Lando because Lando pretty much wins now. That he did that. I think Jirachi is my best play. Jirachi is another mod that can live a hit from Halucha though at plus two. But we should be fine against that as long as we keep Coco healthy. So I'll just go out here into Jirachi. He'll just go for Fake Out, yeah. And honestly, we'd probably take the high jump kick. I'll get up rocks, just because we should take this. Oh, never mind. It's Mega Medicham. I am forgetting what we are dealing with. All right. And this man gets a kill. Well, it might not Oko Coco. Oko Coco. That's interesting. All right. So he gives me Medicham, which is cool. And now he's forced out into Coco or Scarf Caldeo. I guess he could go Halucha if he really wants to. Not sure if he has his coverage. I think it gets Steel Wing or Iron Head. It goes hard tap at Coco. I'll just uh, Moon Blast right here. Goes for, I'm assuming that's Specs. No, Life Orb, okay. Life Orb T Bolt makes sense, and my best play right here is to just go Cure him. I can't go Tapu Coco, because that just gives him the kill. I gotta go uh, Lando. And just click Scarf EQ. And then we hard switch to. Tapu Koko on the Halucha. So he's gonna go Halucha. We just go hard Tapu Koko right here. Because uh, unless he crits me, we take this. Or if he has Poison Jab, then, you know, that can work too. But I Standard does not run Poison Jab. He has it, though. Dang. That really sucks, because we would have had this. I'll go out into this now, and I'll just click HP Ice. Hopefully he doesn't... I'm just gonna bank on him not having Roost. It goes for Acrobatics. That just knocked me out through that. Alright, Weavile, do you want to... Knock him out with Ice Shard? I doubt it. Dang, this guy really brought brought it back with Halucha. Poison Jab is cool tech on uh, Halucha, to be honest. I really wanna, that's really cool. I'll just uh, use a stand right here in Acrobatic Speed. That'll knock you out, and then you go Keldeo, and you're gonna Secret Sword me, I guess. Surf, Icy Wind. You would never Icy Wind. Go for a move that has accuracy, please. Goes right for Secret Sword, and that's going to knock me out. So, unfortunately, we're going to finish the live on a loss, but that's a 5-2 and two live, which is uh, pretty great. And we're going to leave it off right there. Be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's currently on your screen. And once again, the team is down below in the description in case you guys want to try it out. And yeah, see you guys next time. Later.